Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video here. This is probably the last video before 1.4 is out to everyone. And if you don't know, I am going to be streaming it on YouTube at around 7 a.m. PST because me and a bunch of other content creators, we get to stream it three hours earlier before the release comes out to the public. But I am here looking at the change log. Now, some people may be like, I don't wanna read the change log. I don't wanna see any spoilers. Well, these spoilers are more of a uh, useful information than they are actual spoilers, much like the town npc update how they told us that you know npcs they need better homes they want better homes they want to live in certain areas and they'll give you rewards you know spoilers like that i consider that super useful and more not really a spoiler more than it is just useful information to have when you start your playthroughs because imagine not knowing that you still be building boxes for your npcs in the same biomes but let's hop right into this um i'm not gonna read this paragraph here if you want to see the journeys and stuff but in just white text on notepad boom bada bing yeah look at all this we got the tables of content here we're not gonna look at any of that we're just gonna scroll down new ways to play we got journey mode here this is brand new to terraria journey mode provides a more accessible terraria experience by placing the power to create the gameplay you desire in the palm of your hands research blocks that you dig up items that you find and enemies that you defeat in order to gain the limitless power to duplicate or to adjust the difficulty of the game to your whims at last you can have the terraria experience perfectly tailored to your desire the only limit is your imagination this might be a great thing for you know videos like mine where i'm always playing in either creative or god mode and i want to be able to manipulate the world a lot that's why i use mods like cheat sheet and heroes mod for my videos and for the future i'm probably going to be playing on journey mode with mods installed well i guess we're not going to have mods for a little bit but you get the idea yeah we got this creative menu looking like the old minecraft creative menu remember the old minecraft one where it's just legit just everything in one window no organization but this is organized though uh we got the control the weather very cool we got the it was this difficulty meter well i guess it says at the bottom here and then we got what is this enemy spawn rate stuff i don't know what this is tetris oh okay here we go increased placement range god mode here we go so yeah this has like everything that the cheat sheet and heroes mod stuff has next up master mode a next level challenge intended for those skilled brave or foolish enough to take it on master mode represents the ultimate terrain challenge unrelenting master mode will punish your every mistake and force you to prepare and up your game like never before do you have what it takes to prove that you are a master of terraria now we've seen the master mode video most of you guys have seen the master mode video and so far other than the times when i got insta killed it honestly doesn't seem that bad but we still haven't fought a single boss yet so we'll see we'll see i can't really talk but it doesn't seem too bad yet like i thought everything was gonna one tap me i thought slimes i thought zombies eyeballs there's only certain things that have one tap me so far and i am noticing here that uh you can make a graveyard biome if you place a bunch of tombstones so if you keep dying in the same area you'll accidentally make a graveyard biome. next up golf now this i am super excited for golf i got a lot of ideas with golf uh, i'm not gonna talk about any of them yet but a uh, golf is an amazing thing i don't think we have to read too much of this because it's just about golf but here we go now we get to the real change log area so we got the atmospheric effects this is awesome the atmosphere in 1.4 for the little bit that i've played i've only played 1.4 for for like an hour an hour 30 minutes pretty much everything you saw me do was in that video just condensed and the atmospheres felt so cool i didn't even get to experience too many atmospheric events besides just you know windy day and everything moving around but you know having things move around like this, this is so cool Cool. next level player immersion players can now take part in the daily activities of life that were not possible before from sitting to lying down sleeping to petting animals your world will feel more interactive and immersive than ever before a vast array of new food items and new three tier food bonus system a way to tantalize your taste buds as well so that sounds very interesting you know you got to eat certain foods to get the top tier buffs but uh another thing you'll notice here is that you can actually die armor stands you also got dog and cat that you can pet who doesn't love that uh, you got player emotes I know about player emotes, all those uh, detectives and sleuths out there. You know what I mean in my uh, master mode video, wink, wink. World gen evolution, look at this, mini biomes, a lot of new biomes. Let's see what it says. World gen has been improved in a variety of ways, from speed to quality, to fixing some of its more annoying quirks. All new biomes, such as the lush oasis, a way for you to uncover during your adventures. Perhaps most important, every biome has been carefully examined and when necessary, retooled. You think you know all that there is to find and expect? Think again. So I'm thinking 
thinking that's hinting at not just the desert. We know the desert has been overhauled, but I think I'm, that's hinting at the granite biome, the mushroom biomes, you know, all the cave biomes. I think that's throwing a little hint at there. Like there's a, there's a little bit more there than meets the eye nowadays. Dozens of new biome backgrounds. These are really cool. Who doesn't love the biome backgrounds? I don't know. Maybe I'll use these for thumbnail backgrounds. We got the graveyard biome. Yep, I talked about this. We got block swap. Now, I didn't use this in the video um, because we had a copper pickaxe for a majority of that video. I think we have a copper pickaxe the whole video. And there was just no point in me using it. I had no reason to use it, but it's very, very cool. It's honestly my favorite feature to come with 1.4 next to things like the bestiary. And, you know, I'm excited to actually use it. Next up, the void vault. I remember when they spoiled this a long, long time ago and I uh, completely forgot what this does. Put something in your void vault and then it's like a piggy bank. Something like that. I don't know. We know about the we know about the character stuff we've seen all this stuff we got the achievement stuff i have like almost every achievement so like i didn't really get to see too many new achievements but i think 1.4.1 or whatever 1.4.0.1 whatever the next little patch is that's where they're gonna add in uh more achievements is what senex said i believe brand new health bar options this i didn't even touch i like that one the third one nope that one i like that one and we also have boss health bars which is a need this was a need and i'm glad it came with this update another thing i didn't really mess with is the uh, maps the map customization i'll mess more with this stuff when we get to our actual playthrough razor chroma support i do have a razor keyboard the razor chroma or not to be exact and you know it changes colors when i was playing terraria they're very cool so now we get to the full rebalance pass on in enemy items so obviously the golem has been rebalanced king slime teleports to you if you try to sit on our rope moon lord shoots you through solid blocks we've seen the copper short sword in game which uh, a lot of people told me this is a material wink wink i wonder what's a material for we haven't seen the flail mainly because you know flails aren't exactly the easiest thing, easiest thing to get your hands on besides if you have a corruption and you can break some crystals but we didn't have a corruption in our world um charge blaster cannon yes awesome medusa's head a bunch of things that we've seen before in uh previous spoilers but yeah let's get to the to the new stuff because we've seen all this stuff let's get to the new stuff over a thousand new items bring the total item count to over five thousand i'm surprised they did over five thousand i thought they were stopping at like a weird number in the four thousands but look at this new summoner weapon class whips you know a lot of mods have done this in the past to add more to summoners they kind of gave them a secondary weapon to use and I, I like the idea that they went with it i'm interested why they went with whips though but you know why not summoners were at a shortage of good weapon options so we gave them a whole class to play with green hair not included you know what else is not included as a new class to play with throwing next up star cannon v2 yeah we've seen these before these were showed off a long time ago new mine carts including the mine carp yeah i want that that thing's awesome the lava shark damn i don't remember this spoiler well i do remember it but it's been such a long time since i've seen this spoiler is another spoiler that i straight up don't remember seeing or i saw it and just completely forgot about it but look how cool when i'm telling you the desert is overhauled the desert is overhauled still never been there you know i do still have the game early and i've never visited i'm being very good about not spoiling too much this desert these paintings they look so cool there's 19 new enemies only 19 new enemies that's a surprise only 19 that seems like such a small amount then again there is no new armors in this update which also there's, there's a couple things i'm really surprised about for how long we waited for the update what came out from the weight of that update you know what i'm saying like you think all the years we waited you think there'd be at least like one or two armors like not even asking for a lot at least like one or two but you never know maybe they change some armors into some their stuff vice versa but yeah first enemy here the roaming gnome we know about the gnomes if you're a game raiders og you know about the gnomes on my channel we saw these slimes the balloon ones we've seen them uh 22 new critters and five gold critters to meet so yeah we've seen ladybugs i had a clip of me pointing out the ladybugs but i just cut it out because it sounded weird uh but if you want to see it in the video it's like right when i left the dungeon having grown up around gem trees crystal bunnies have evolved in a unique way maybe they're worth more money when you sell them because uh, a thing i do all the time in vanilla Terraria is i would catch animals and sell them i kind of do it every now and then in monetary two new bosses for you to discover and battle haha <laughs> we don't need to discover them no more for all the people that watch my video wink wink like i said we tried to get you further information on these bosses but they're very closely guarded secret red came out and said what the name of the bosses were i think he said one of them was like the queen of pixies something like that i don't remember the, the exact message two new mini bosses with a score to settle 
including the terrifying Dread Nautilus. Now I'm wondering what the other mini boss is. Is it a mushroom? Mushroom biome mini boss? Mushroom biome love? I don't know. We'll see. Fairies, hey, listen, I'll follow you if you dare. So if you see these logs, I broke it in the video and Senex told me, she said, oh, I wish you didn't break the log in the video. And she told me that fairy spawned from this. And when I went into the world to grab a quick screenshot of like the background of the game, I saw these fairies spawn from the log. And I was like, God damn it. I didn't mean to break the log. Well, I, I meant to see if it dropped anything, but I didn't know it was a fairy log. Okay, so we know about the pylons. I'm, I'm pretty hyped about the pylons and building stuff for NPCs. Oh, here we go. The blood moon fishing stuff. This stuff I'm very hyped about. We got a summon here, the frog. We got the chum bucket, which I don't know. Does this help, does this help you fish or... Is this what you use to summon the blood moon? I don't know. We got the bloodthirsty goblin shark. Is this the other mini boss? This could be the other mini boss or just a hard enemy. I don't know. Lava fishing. Uh, I'm kind of very, very happy that they added more to lava fishing because there was just a very minimal amount of things you could do with lava fishing. Oh, this is right here. Previously, lava fishing existed in a limited form through the hotline fishing hook, which was a hard mode only reward from the angler. There were only three drops, two fish that were used for potions and the obsidian swordfish. Now lava fishing has been expanded to pre-hard mode through new forms of lava fishing you can now find lava critters in the underworld when used for bait with any fishing rod they'll allow you to fish up things from lava however they can only be caught with a lava proof bug net you can now obtain the two original lava fish before the wall flush as well as several other uncommon fishing drops and all new lava fishing crates the obsidian swordfish is still hard mode only lava fishing crates contain their own exclusive loot pool and always contain an obsidian lockbox obsidian lockboxes contain shadow chest loot and can be unlocked as long as you have a shadow key in your inventory it will not be consumed when opening obsidian lock boxes very cool in addition to lava bait one of the rewards of lava crates is lava proof fishing hook which is an accessory that allows free lava fishing with any fishing rod all forms of lava fishing bait accessory or fishing rod grant the same lava fishing abilities but using two or more sources of lava fishing at the same time will offer an additional bonus that speeds up lava fishing nice i said lava fishing like 30 times all right so this thing i'm very upset that they nerfed the uh reaver shark and obviously they changed crates to have a hard mode variant too um it was very upsetting honestly it really is upsetting because i feel like fishing you know you were able to skip hard mode a good bit of hard mode but the thing is there's a lot of redundancy in terraria when it comes to repetitiveness when it comes to having to mine more ores once you enter hard mode and people don't like doing that it's very understandable and people would you know save their crates for hard mode beat the wall flesh open it up boom they got hard mode ores and i felt like that was a whole alternate style of playing the game and they kind of just killed it off a little bit um they added more to fishing so that makes up for it but i feel like there is a little damage damage done to fishing but they nerfed the hell out of the reaver shark you can no longer use it as an alternative to to skip a bunch of stuff i mean i guess they don't want people skipping stuff but at the same time it's an alternative way to play the game epic tunes to set the mood these music boxes look pretty cool like the house ones those ones look really cool but there's 14 new tracks added to the game we heard a good bit of them honestly we heard a good bit of them i don't know if they're considering the uh console music as new uh they might be because i do see a clam but yeah it says duke fish run now has his own theme that's nice all right and then we got world seeds of course texture pack support of course i'm hyped about that and uh that might be it we obviously see the uh team mod loader dlc so obviously i could still make videos on previous things and uh that honestly might be it you know there's the full change log we can still check out like right here and uh there's a lot of things to read through here there's a lot of things and i don't know if i'm gonna read all of them uh, i think we went through a majority of things honestly but you know that's that's all we'll do for now i just wanted to do a little video this shit's not little it's like 20 minutes for me but i just want to record this you know hear my reaction for this information that i'm giving myself and and like I said again, if you guys don't know, Terraria 1.4 stream, I'm going to be streaming at 7 a.m. PST, uh, the day of release. So come through, come watch it while you guys wait for the game to come out. And also, if you would like to join my channel memberships, they offer a bunch of perks. Shout out to my boy, Alex Jacobs. He's the first member of the channel. And, you know, you get a bunch of exclusive things uh, every once a month, even maybe more than once a month. We're going to have like a video brainstorming session where you guys can suggest me video ideas. And, you, you know, that video idea may become a reality if i like it but yeah thank you everyone for coming i'll see y'all at the tory 1.4 stream